Today we are going to be TIG welding with the Forney Easy Weld 180ST. This machine is stick and TIG capable, as well as dual voltage. On 120 volts, you have an amperage range from 10 to 90 amps, and on 230 volts, you have an amperage range of 10 to 180 amps. The thickness you can weld up to on 120 volts is a quarter inch, and on 230 volts is a half inch. This machine is suitable for DIYers, farm and ranch, maintenance, and light industrial. This unit is also generator friendly. This machine only has a DC output, so you cannot TIG weld aluminum with it. Today we are going to be TIG welding 10 gauge stainless steel. Here we have two plates that are already prepped. We will turn our machine on. We are set up electrode negative for TIG welding. We have our selector switch in the front here, switch to TIG. There are two bars around your amperage dial. The inner dial is for when you're running on 120. Your outer dial is for when you're running on 230. So we are running on 230 today. So I'm going to set my amperage range at about roughly 90 amps. Now let's talk about the TIG torch for a second. So we do have a 17 flex valve torch. Therefore it has a valve on the back of it because this machine does not have a gas solenoid inside. This is a scratch start machine, so you do have to make contact with your tungsten to your base material to get your arc started. You also have to remember to open your valve to allow your argon gas to flow through your torch and protect your weld. So let's put our gear on and we will give these settings a shot. So we are going to tack weld these two pieces of metal together here. I'm just going to run a simple flap weld. So I'm going to turn my gas on. I created that tack weld and then I removed the torch from the arc zone so that that arc would turn off and then I came back to the weld to protect it with the gas that was continuing to flow out of my torch until I closed the valve. So now we are going to take a piece of filler off. the joint of this fit. So when you are adding filler to your material, you're going to have your torch at about a 75 degree angle and your filler is going to be at about 10, 10 degree angle. <laughs> Sorry.
Um, this weld is a little bit concaved, so therefore I could have added just a tad bit more filler metal. Um, but this has a nice color to it, a good angle, therefore that's telling you that your amperage range is close to what it's supposed to be. And then we have a nice tie-in with the top and bottom plate. There wasn't too much focus on either or. So let's try and see what it'll do if we turn our amperage down about 10 amps. So we'll go to 80 amps and we'll see if that will do it for us. this 16th filler and we are going to mess around with this 332nd filler rod. But that being said, I'm going to actually go up to closer to 95, 100 amps just because it is going to take more heat to actually melt this filler rod and it's going to be cooling the puddle as you're adding it into your well. So we're just going to finish out this last little bit with our 332nd filler. So we did get a little bit more fill coverage in here. Um, this plate is super hot now that we have got to the end of it. Before you go and you put another weld on this plate, you would want to quench it in some water uh, just to reduce that heat and then you won't run into issues on the other side when you're trying to finish out your weld plate. This last bead that we did here, it was, there was more fill, fill to the fillet weld. Uh, but it was still a little off. I could have added just a little bit more and I was a little shaky so it's not the best but it definitely filled in more than what that 16th was. So a couple things to remember when you are first starting TIG welding is to make sure to go slow, pay attention to your weld. If you can't see what you're doing, turn your shade down maybe a notch uh, or try to, if you use reader glasses, it might be a good idea to get a cheater lens. Whatever can help you, uh, the better. 
Also, it is difficult to use filler material, especially once you get down to the end of it. So you do have to work on a technique to feed this wire through your hand. Uh, a lot of people just hold it with their thumb and then they will move it, pull it through with their fingers, kind of like this. Uh, but that does come with time and it is difficult, so you won't catch on right away. Uh, so when you're trying to TIG weld, don't let it beat you up and bring you down. You can do it. That is TIG welding with the 40 Easy Weld 180 ST.